Boys and girls, welcome back to round 21 of our Williams playthrough of F1 Manager 2022. This might ultimately be the deciding race as we just need to finish uh, at least in P6 to secure the, world's driver, the World Drivers Championship since the final race of the season will not have double points and we are currently 42 points ahead of Max Verstappen now. If he wins the next two races, we just need eight points or ten points ten points technically to officially cover it and uh eight points to tie but i think we have more wins so we will win uh in a tiebreaker so uh we have already wrapped up the constructors championship as we are now 106 points ahead of red bull and they don't have uh, there's no chance for them to come back. So let's go ahead and get this all started. New ATR period starts today. Underfloor manufactured, suspension manufactured. Anything we try to develop will not finish by the end of the season anyway. So we're putting all of our ATR hours into research. But since I already have three research uh, projects going on right now, I think that's the max I can do. So we'll have to wait another 10 days to be able to do the next one. And then hopefully we can get... Um, we can get some more going. We need to still get uh, chassis, front wing, and rear wing, I think. No, front wing, rear wing, and underfloor researched for next year. So um, those three are the most important ones. Uh, well, I guess the chassis is pretty important too, but we've already got one going. So hopefully we can get that all done before the end of this season. And let's just check our drivers. I think we do have some development points. Yes, we do. So Alex gets one. Where do we want to put it into? I think we want to keep working on his pace. His adaptability is 83 is okay. But compared to Max in the last race, if you watch the Mexican Grand Prix, Max definitely had the pace on us in the rain. Um, so maybe we will go with defending. Yeah, let's work on defending and get all of his ratings up to 80 for now. And then for Oscar, I think we can start working down here. Let's get his overtaking up. Should we get his overtaking up? Yeah, let's work on his overtaking there. Does Logan get one? No, he does not. How about our staff? Okay, nothing for the staff either. So that is it, guys. 11 days away from the Brazilian Grand Prix. We'll go ahead and just simulate. I don't know if any of the other teams will have any more upgrades coming, but we will wait until the start of the weekend to take a look at the car analysis. <clears throat> so wind tunnel is done. That's good. Wind tunnel is done. That is done. Okay, let's look at our facilities. So car parts test center will be at level four. How much is the suspension simulator? $11 million. Do we want to work on that or do we want to upgrade the facility? Project capacity. Car part manufacturer plus 12% development speed. Maybe we'll work on the f factory. We'll save up a little bit of money first though. I don't want to be down to one and a half million dollars. Um, for now we'll wait until we save up a little bit more money and then we'll upgrade the factory suspension research is complete that is good okay it's a good thing we didn't spend any money there because i want to um go in design not design research uh i will cut for edit i will come back to you when i'm all done okay so we went ahead and started the research on the front wing since we can only do one more project so we will have to wait another 10 days before we can get the final two um, research projects in so one day left until the next race here we go important email race prep let's go into these performance targets guarantee those guarantee that and then we have this about to finish up okay i hope this light is bright enough okay uh so we have nothing else to do let's take a look at the car analysis <clears throat> so our top speed and acceleration has gone down a little bit but we are still first in low speed and medium speed cornering and low speed medium speed uh, dirty air cornering which is important and we also have first in the acceleration for drs so we, we're still looking pretty strong for the brazilian grand prix 
I will start the weekend. Take care of practice and quality. I'll see you guys for the start of the race. All right, guys. So we are done with quality and we, I'm sorry, guys. My cat is ruining everything. Come here. It just wants to make sure the uh, channel bearing his name is running smoothly. So, um, <laughs> he kind of got in the way there. Qualifying, we ended up fourth and tenth. So, not great. And you've already seen this. Um, confidence is only at 96%. So, that's not great. And so, we're starting third and eighth. I'm going to give him some extra fuel to push with. And the weather is dry. Okay. Oh, boy. So is it a definite two-stop? Definite two-stop. Okay. So we're going to go medium, hard, mediums. I don't understand how we qualified so poorly. Yeah, engine, ERS, and gearbox are okay. I really don't... Oh, man. Okay. Well, let's... Um Let's start off trying to overtake right away. We're going to need it. I'll give him plenty of fuel there. Starting third and eighth. It's going to be dry the entire race. Oh. It's a bit I don't know. A Let's, uh, we only need to finish and now fifth. It's time for we the just need to finish in fifth. I'm going to pause real quick just to look at the tires. Everybody's on mediums except for Mick and Yuki. Okay. Let's go. Let's make up some positions here. We just need to finish fifth. That's all we need. It'd be nice if Piastri could get ahead of these guys and slow them down a little bit because I feel like they will just start pulling away um, if Alex gets stuck in traffic. You, oh, yellow sector two. Don't know what that was. All right, Magnuson. Okay, that's behind us. There we go. There we go. Come on, push it, push it, push it. All right, we made it past Perez. Alex is in P7. Yep, okay, Just so we got out in front of Williams. Gasly. Can we get out in front of Verstappen? That would be nice. Come on, come on, get out in front of Verstappen. Make it stick. An Alright. And Alex is up to P6 now. Um, Can we have Piastri push? We should have a little bit of tire life left after every stint, so... If you can get out of this DRS... Yeah, okay, good, 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 good. Alright, so we're outside one second now, just barely. Hopefully Perez and Verstappen will continue fighting each other and uh, slow each other down. And now we'll be stuck in a DRS train behind everybody else. How unfortunate. Can we get by Hamilton? Come on, Alex. Come on. There we go. All right. Everybody's bunching up. We can go easy here with um, Oscar now. All right. If we harvest, can we stay within this DRS train? Yes, it looks like we should be able to. Four tenths, three tenths. All right, we really need Norris to push up to Verstappen and start pressuring him a little bit. There we go. There you go, Norris. Is he? No, they're all on mediums. Okay. All right. Ricardo currently with the fastest lap. It should be beatable. Obviously, still early on in the race. Everybody's got heavy fuel. All right. 71% with the tires already. That's not good. Yeah, that's 10% lower than everybody else. Okay. We need to start making moves. Let 
my cat is like circling me like a shark trying to get back up here. Alright, if you come up here, you have to be good. Alright, we'll harvest for a little bit. Actually, I think we might be able to go light on the tire usage here. Can we stay within DRS if we go light on the tires? Tsunoda behind us, no biggie. We got bigger things to worry about. Come on, stay within DRS, Alex. Stay within DRS. Alright, we're still within DRS. They're fighting each other and slowing each other down, and that's good. Good for us. Okay, he's gone. This is what we need. Not only are they allowing Alex to stay on their gearbox, um, they're also allowing Oscar to dance off into the distance there. Oh no. Oh no, we're about to be dropped. Did we get dropped? No, we got... We're still within there. TRS. Okay, good. Look at this. They're going <laughs> three wide into corners. Perfect for me. This will be a long video. I don't want to go 8x just yet because I don't want to be dropped. Although it looks like we'll, but we're about to be dropped right here. And they'll still continue fighting, though. They'll continue fighting. Come on, Alex. Get back within DRS. We got Ricardo right on our six as well. I'm trying to conserve tires now. I blew through a lot of the tires at the beginning, so we're trying to conserve a little bit of tire um, to make sure that we don't go super short on our first stint here. Okay, back within DRS. And Piastri is off into the distance now. So we should be okay. Alright, buddy. You gotta be good. So, we're still within DRS. Which is... Alright. Quick flash of yellow. Who's running wide then? Schumacher running wide. You have to stay. Go to bed. Go to bed. Oh, Ricardo's right on our six. Stay. Stop jumping on the desk. Alright, we've entered the pit window. We still have plenty of tires left. That's good. Seems to have been a lock -up. Ricardo got by us. That's unfortunate. He's about to get dropped as well. What did, what do we need? Just P5, right? Just P5. Oh, we're losing positions now. What is going on? A position gained for Alpha Romeo. All right, so people into the pits already. Uh, medium, hard, medium. Yeah, let's go. Box this lap. Yes, the key box. I think we can go one more lap one with more Alex. I mean, one more lap with Oscar, I should say. Now we come in. All right. We can wrap this up in this race here. Come on now. Let's go. All right, so we're back behind Ricardo again. Go easy with that. Ooh, so 
saw all that dust flying up, that dirt. All right, we're within DRS, we're going to harvest a little bit here. Piastri into the pits now. Vettel and Signs are still out. Are they on their first stint still? Yes, they are. Okay. So we are on to hards. Everybody else is on to hards as well. Oh, yellow sector two. I would love a safety card to bring us back closer together again. I think we've had a car run wide. All right, come on, stroll running wide. That's behind us. We've got Verstappen two and a half seconds in front of us. Verstappen and Norris really duking it out, slowing each other down. That's what we like to see. I want to push, but we don't have much battery left. We're only at about 50% battery. We're done harvesting for the lap already. 2.9 signs into the pits. Albin's three seconds back. Is Ricardo fighting us, slowing us down? Okay, Ricardo out ahead of us. Let's Looks harvest like a little bit of battery. For Alfa Romeo. Three point six seconds back. <clears throat> that all's going super long, huh? Jeez. Energy's good. All right, energy's good. Let's get out in front of Ricardo. Let's deploy. See if we can catch up to Norris and Verstappen fighting. Battery's dead already. That's uh, crazy. I don't think we're catching up to him, to Verstappen and Norris. Do we have to go push on our tires to do so? Just get Ricardo off of our tail. Damn it. If we can catch up to Norris, we can start harvesting in DRS behind him. Come on now. Piastri is good. He's got a seven and a half second lead. If we can just get up to Norris and Verstappen, we would be perfect. Are we in it? Looks like we're in it. We are in it to win it, boys. All right, like here we go. We can sit here and just use... Um, we can just sit here and harvest, perhaps? Maybe not. All right, we lost a position to Ricardo. Can Ricardo stay here? Alfa Romeo just moved up a place. We got Perez on our six now as well. We're starting to lose position again. We're losing time to the guys in front. What is going on? Why is it so hard for Alex to... Okay, we are at 60%. Everybody else is at about 65, 68. Are we in DRS? We are. I just don't understand why Alex is so slow today here at Brazil. I mean, we are within DRS. We're harvesting battery. And we're still not able to just stick close to these guys without having to push on our tires for some reason. Yep, copy. Okay. I'm going to sit and watch. Is there any chance of overtaking? We have Ricardo currently in P2 right now. Okay, here we go. Can we overtake? Oh man, 
50% tire wear already. Let's get out in front. Can we get out in front of this McLaren, please? That would be nice. Can we get out in front of Ricardo? Can we get out in front of... Oh. Naughty, naughty Verstappen. Just gained by Williams. We can stick behind him. We'll stick behind him. Take the DRS. Let's not knock ourselves out of this race now, though. Come on. I do apologize if this is really long and I'm staying on board for... A long long time but I I just don't understand why we're so slow in this race Piastri is 13 seconds ahead and Alex Position can't manage to stay in front of a Romeo. an Alfa Romeo for some reason Norris boxed okay so somebody's already into the pits pit window will be open in about three laps we are at 48% on our tires right now we'll harvest for a little bit more behind these guys like I said we just need to finish P P6 to tie, P5 to... Although, actually, if Verstappen's not winning, then we really just need to finish P4 or something. He'll be 18. And that will bring him 7. Yeah, I can't do the math in my head right now. But Verstappen needs to win the last two races. Because he will be short by one... I think he'll be short by one point. Or by two points if he finishes P2 in this race. So if he uh, doesn't finish in P1, then his chance is over. Okay, here comes Perez. Pit window will be open in one lap. Alex doesn't necessarily need to win this race or perform well. Verstappen just needs to not finish in first place. He needs to win the last two races to secure the championship. Or to, to have a chance at the championship. We are in a good spot because we are 42 points ahead right now. If he finishes second, he will be one point short, even if we DNF out of every um, these last two races. Ooh, Alonso. All by himself again. They spun the car. All right. Not a spot on track you, you usually see people going on. All right. Let's sit here. We can go light on the tires. Try to stay out as long as we can. We are going to need our tires in that last stint. Look at Piastri. 15 seconds ahead. Not even batting an eye. We're stopping still in third place. We are at six tenths. Ooh, safety car. A safety car right now would be amazing. There's been contact and several I see red involved. Ferraris. Let's see what happened there. As Taking our Alfa Romeos. It involves Sebastian Vettel. Ooh, Alfa Romeo. How oh, the Ferrari barely oh, missed that. Okay, come on, Alex. We're still within DRS. That's good. Look at that. If we harvest. Wide. Bottas running wide. That's fine. Perez into the pits. Perhaps we should come in now, too. Yeah, let's come in now. Um... Let's have Piastri come in. Actually, no, we'll have Piastri go one more lap. All right, now you come in. On to the mediums. Where's Alex come out? Alex comes out P6 right behind Verstappen. I think 
ones run wide. What are the tires? So Norris on hards, Perez Verstappen, and myself on mediums. Okay, we got the fastest lap with Alex. That's good. Can we get by? All right, let's go catch up to Perez. Perez is caught behind a Ferrari right now. And Verstappen just jumped us again. That's fine. We're all caught up behind signs still. Norris is now ahead of Perez. And Verstappen is only two spots ahead of us right now. Oh, man. We're getting we're caught up with Ricardo. Come on, get by Ricardo. Damn it, no battery again. Oh, something happened. Is that a lock -up? Norris Let's went off. Watch this. I just saw his orange dot just sit just at the, the bottom of the track. The Ooh, that sucks. Is he in front of us? He is in front of us. No, he's behind us now. Okay. So we are P5. Looks like that was a position gained for Alfa Romeo. Let's just go ahead and sit behind Ricardo here. Harvest some battery and then make our move at the end of the race. Nine laps left to go. I don't think we're going to catch. Definitely not catching um, the two Red Bulls. And there's an overtake from Williams. All right. So we're about to... Oh, safety car. What? All right. We're in with a chance here. No DRS. Safety car. You know what? Actually, we can get out onto the medium, on, onto the softs. Although the softs, <laughs> these worn mediums are actually better than the softs. Okay. Did I miss the crash? We've just had a crash on the track. Okay, this is the crash that caused the safety car. All by himself, it looks like. That crash is terrible. Okay. All right. So we should be able to get in and out of the pits. Just fine. And then we should be bunched up. Oh, I should have stayed ahead of Ricardo. All right. So, yes, we do come out in first still on brand new, not brand new softs, but much younger softs. And then we will only have... A few laps left to go anyway. Here come the lapped cars going around. Well, Sunoda is the only lapped car, it seems like. I don't think we're going to wait for him to catch up. Oh, we might. I don't think he will catch up, though. He's really far back. Okay, here we go. Safety cars coming in. We are going to go ahead and push with everything that we have since there's only, what, like five laps up? Three? Four laps left. And we're just going to keep our eye on Alex here. Piastri on the soft tire should be able to just run off into the distance. But now we are on equal terms. 
Come on, Alex. Come on. There we go. All right. And a new position. Just gained by William. Okay, so it'll be two laps left at the start of this next lap. Oh, goodness. Fastest lap. All right, good. We secured the fastest lap as well. Look at that. He gapped 2.4 seconds. Come on, Alex. Come on. Actually, keep going. Keep going. There we go. There we go, Alex. No DRS. No DRS, please. Just let us finish. No DRS here. The final lap. You're opening your final lap. DRS enabled. DRS okay. Enabled. We'll go defensive. Tires are, ooh, we are okay. at the worst. Yellow sector three, which has happened. Oh, there, the Alpha Tauri off, back on. I think we have this, boys. I think that was a crash. Alonso crashed on turn one. Now. I think we just now wrapped up the Here's WDC. Dear me. They won't have been expecting that. Alonso's having a shocking year. Although the Alphatari is not exactly a good car either, so... Alright, we'll stay on for the rest of this. Even if Verstappen does come back and pass us, I think this should be enough for us to win anyway. We did it, boys. We did it. I honestly, at the start of the season, I honestly didn't think that we would have the car to win the World, uh, World Drivers' Championship. But it looks like... We finally did it right before the end of our third year. I went down to the second to last race, too. Here's the replay. Let's watch and this. First place for the Williams. Wow. Oh, that was Oscar. I was like, wow, we were so far ahead of the Red Bulls. Uh, that was Oscar. All right. So with that P2, we have secured the championship. And Oscar... I think he's pretty much secured P3. I don't think there's a chance of Lewis coming back now. Thanks, guys. Well done. Good drive. Are we going to get a when celebration? Stop, be P1. Wait five seconds and then P0. Are we going to get a celebration? I'll wait it out. Oh, we're still waiting for Alonso to finish. I was like, what's going on? All right, so Piastri won the race. Alex, P2. We secured the Drivers' Championship. Although I think we're going to... I wish they had something... A wonderful result here like some, some specific going. celebration for when you won the Drivers' Championship. Are we going to get anything? A very impressive showing today for Williams. This was an extremely convincing race for them. I think this There's is just your typical race victory team. celebration. I don't generally watch these, so I'm not quite sure. After an intense weekend, the team ends in first place in the constructor standings. Ah, Sao Paulo. One of my favorite tracks in F1 history. I've been racing there for forever now. Alright, no, no celebration, I guess. So... Oscar Piastri, P1, Alex Albin, P2, Max, P3. Max and Sergio started on the front row, and they finished third and fourth. Ricardo had a hell of a race there. I don't know where the hell his pace came from. Started P9, and then started giving a, started giving a shit there for the longest time. If not for the safety car, he would have finished uh, fourth, I think, or fifth. No, he would have finished fourth because we were behind him. So, good race for Daniel Ricciardo. Where's his teammate? Sebastian Vettel all the way down here. All right, boys. So, that is it. We are 45 points ahead of Max. He doesn't have a chance anymore. 359 to 314. Even if he wins the next race and we DNF, he will have 339 and we will have 359. So, uh... 
And I believe, yep, Oscar has secured P3 now in the driver's standings as well. Because even if Lewis Hamilton wins, he will only be at 249, uh, which would be six short of 255. So we have wrapped that up. We have wrapped up the constructors standings, the constructor championships. Now we are 122 points ahead of Red Bull, so no chance in hell. Hell of a season, boys and girls. 1,163 for Alex, 1,358 for Oscar. And Logan, we who we put into the car in FP1, actually gets a development point as well. So that is it. $4.2 million brought home. We wrapped up both championships in the penultimate race. Um, so we really don't have anything else to race for at Abu Dhabi, but uh, we will leave the last race for the next episode, guys. If you guys have enjoyed this this series, uh, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. We are currently at 147 subscribers right now. I would love to have three people make it 150. Um, remember to eat your bok choy, guys. Stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys in the next one.